as, as a neurosurgeon who takes care of patients with brain tumors and other types of disorders, probably the most frequent type of patient I deal with in cancer are patients with brain metastases, which are the commonest tumors that spread to the brain. Obviously, lung cancer, breast cancer, and melanoma being the commonest primary tumor types in this country, renal cell cancer, some GI cancers, uh, genital urinary cancers uh, as well, and even some of the other rare types. There's probably 400,000 of these patients per year uh, in the United States, so it's a, it's a frequent problem. It's much more common than the number of gliomas, for example, which is about 15,000 per year in this country. One of the, for the last 50 years, really the, the mainstay has been either surgical resection or whole brain radiation therapy. And over the last two decades, a lot of our work has been to clarify who should get surgery, who should get whole brain radiation, and more importantly now, who should get stereotactic radio surgery or focused radiation to zap and inactivate uh, the tumors that are present. That's an outpatient procedure done with low risk with an, uh, about an 80 to 90 percent success rate at stopping the tumor from growing. Uh, and keeping and preserving neurologic function. This has really transformed uh, the care of patients with such brain tumors for a number of reasons. Most importantly, it allows continued care of their cancer because either with surgery or whole brain radiation therapy, the patient was taken out of the mix of the, of the medical oncologist for about a month, which meant delays in chemotherapy or immunotherapy or the, the really treatments they need from, for the neck down. But with radio surgery, we can treat a patient one day and continue with chemotherapy the next day. There really are no delays. And I think this combination strategy be being so efficient has led to a lot of gain and benefit for the patient. 